I'm reacting to the Pride and Pinion subreddit. This is always one of my favorite videos ever because you guys are all my bastards, all of you. If you're not a member yet, become a member right now and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com. Let's get stuck into this video and the subreddit, Pride and Pinion subreddit, where you become a member now. Can you please ID my great uncle's watch? Oh, that is not. This is why I say you guys are insane. I do not believe that this watch actually exists, but I find this absolutely hilarious. This is nuts. Hell tier question mark. No, that's God tier because it looks like frosted white gold, but it's actually frosted pieces of steel. But whatever it is, I love it. Looks like, it looks like a, a frosted AP. Yeah, it looks like a frosted AP in a 2100 series. I think that's, it's like a modification case. You can put the watch in. It's actually quite funny. I like it. Would I you wear it? No, but I, I like people being so creative and want to make their watches cool. It's different with diamonds because then you actually ruin something trying to act rich, putting diamonds on a watch, but actually you look Poor. It's actually a baller move, putting them on a, a hundred pound Casio. Now yeah, you're a proper baller. If you want to be a real baller, just buy a Casio and put a hundred crown of diamonds on there. Right, if you want to show some real balls. My humble collection. That's his humble collection. That is some collection of Casios. That's a god tier collection. Can I just move this aside? I don't know this dial. I just don't know this dial. I've never seen the Oh yeah, no, I just the light. What a cool collection. Like, it's no need to buy every G-Shock you can find in the world. But that's the same for me with new sneakers because I got a new sneaker obsession and I'm buying every pair of Nikes you can imagine. To be fair, this is the same type of thing. What a, oh, there's more. There's even more. What is that, Seacos? They're class. Look at these Seacos. They're actually really cool. It's really, really cool stuff. A Rolex Datejust and, oh, Tudor Black Bay Pro. Guys, what a collection, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're talking a Belova. There's a Belova. There's an Omega Seamaster, Rolex Datejust, Chocolate Dow, Rose Gold and Steel Oyster Bracelet, Moon Swatch. This is unbelievable. Would you accept? <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Would you accept? Of course you would. Here's a blunt. State of my collection, early 2023. Let me have a look, son. Hamilton, lovely. Belova, you can throw that in the bin. Boss, you can throw that in the bin. Your G-Shocks are quite cool. Uh, your Citizen is all right. So is very nice. And your Orient, that looks like a planet ocean. That is ready for the bin. Not want to break your heart. It was a good start of a collection, son. It's a good start of a collection. Today, I bought my grill, and it's unthinkable for me a few years ago, that I could have it. Nate, incredibly congratulations with your unbelievably god tier watch. This actually looks like the brand new 36 millimeter Rolex they just on the Jubilee bracelet. Rate my collection, the 116400 GV. Rolex Milgauss with the only nature green set. Sorry, it's synthetic sapphire, but it's still green. And I love it. The new Tissot Powermatic Chronograph. What an incredible looking watch. Then we have a ball. Then we have a Mr. Jones. We have a god tier G-Shock. What an incredibly cool collection. Really diverse, really cool. I love it. What would you rate this collection? I would rate this collection a seven and a half out of ten. Someone said my watch is too small for my wrist. Should I get a larger everyday watch? Looking at your crown guards, it's covering about 80% of your wrist and that means you shouldn't and don't need a bigger watch for your wrist. Unless you have stuff to overcompensate with or for, there's no need for you to get a, a, a bigger watch. This is the Aura's big pointer date. Like, I mean, it's like a pointer to a date because you see that hand that's not a second hand that's a pointer to the date the dates are around the dial an absolutely incredible watch for the money to be honest and it's bronze it looks the bollocks like he said he'd go bold i want my like back you didn't say that <laughs> honestly guys 120k likes now that's insane we started that but yeah obviously because <laughs> you promised them to go bold <laughs> I will go bald, right? But I need to find a new excuse. So my first excuse was, I don't want to go bald. My second excuse was, I don't want to look bald on baby photos when my new child is born, because these photos will stay with me for a lifetime. And my third excuse is going to be, I want to lose weight first. And I'm doing boxing anyway, which means that when I lose weight, I will shave my head. I make a promise, I deliver. Well, give me some time, right, to get my affairs in order. My first Swiss automatic, PRX in green, eight inch wrists. <laughs> I mean, what the f***? What a watch though. I absolutely love that watch. But I have something even better than that. Even more unique than that. Johnny, throw me some love. <coughs> that was hard.
I love it hard. The new drop by IFL Watches. The 40mm Tissot PRX Galaxy. Limited edition. Limited to 200 pieces. Like, I see a Tissot PRX everywhere. But this one, you won't see very often. Each single dial on this watch is hand-painted, meaning that every single watch is different. There's no two watches the same. Next to bringing out this PRX, IFL also introduced straps for the PRX, and that means you can actually buy an additional strap and not just wear it on the bracelet and be even more unique. Please make sure you do not miss out on this drop because there's only 200 pieces available, and they always sell out very quick. And you have to buy it on Chrono 24 for a premium, which you don't want, right? So that's not good. This watch is God there. Well done and congratulations to IFL Watches. To get yours now, first link in the description. No! Nico making modeling job. <laughs> this is a fat people shop. That's fat people shop. I like that shop. I don't know why everyone loves Casio so much. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. <laughs> You know why everyone loves uh, loves Casio? Because Casio's got here. Let me tell you why Casio's got here. Got here works in every part of life. Casio is worn by people that are f poor, but also people who are f rich. It's worn by presidents. It's worn by terrorists. It can be worn in every walks of life. A Casio always looks got here. My niece has recently gotten into watches because of me, and she wanted a Star Wars watch. So of course I got her one. I went ahead and picked up one for myself. What do you think? No offense, mate, but that looks absolutely dog shit. Honestly, that looks absolutely dog shit. No offense, though. No offense. I like your niece, or maybe I don't. Well, that watch looks absolutely horrendous. Just got my first ever watch today. What do you all think? Luckily, your first is usually always a mistake, but this is a big mistake, mate. What the f are you doing? Right, what's going on here, son? What are they talking French? You brought that. What, man? My man doesn't give a Fair enough. The only brand where this is acceptable for is, of, of course, Hublot, because, yeah, that's for people with more money than cents. So, yeah, and then you're a prick. And now the moment you've been waiting for. What? Look at the title. Listen. What does the title say? I don't know what the title says, but it's probably going to be fake negotiation or tracks. Let's see what they have to say, because it's every f time the same. Honestly, I'm sick of these all right, Nico, what the f did you do this time? What are you doing? What's the disturbance? You know what the disturbance is? People like to talk Right. Look at this combination of Borat, Adam Sandler, and Oscar from Shark Tale. What is this group together doing? You don't talk shit about anybody. You know right. me. We're in New York. We don't play that Pennsylvania shit. Right. Okay, where we like, you know, try to get clout from other people by sure. just tagging them. First of all, what is your problem with Pennsylvania? And second of all, what's the relevance? <laughs> Except. Try to get clout from other people by tagging them. I didn't tag you guys. I reacted to a video that some of these guys had. Look carefully. I want to look at you carefully. It works. Huh? What? It works. Look at it carefully. It works. I've never had a conversation with a watch leader like that. Look, it works. 67 is where I could be. All right, 67. 67 is good? Yeah, yeah. A dealer to dealer that drops a price from nine high nines to six seven. I have never come across a dealer or a deal like this in my life. That is 100% staged. I never tagged you guys. So why the f are you tagging me? We don't need your clout, son. These guys are nobody. Except Trax. Trax actually achieved something in his life. To be fair, the old lad as well, John Buckley. But the rest, they're absolute f nobody. So. What did Nico say? Say that we do fake negotiations? No disrespect for your mouth, but this negotiation was staged. All I'm doing is saying the truth. Everyone knows that these negotiations are fake. We were at IWJG and remember Johnny, you were standing next to me for f sake. We were standing there, someone was doing a deal about, about a Submariner. Done a deal, bought the watch, but then said, oh, uh. can we do this negotiation on camera? And just repeated it. Yeah. But not exactly the same because it ended up at a different price. So don't believe this bullshit. They're pretending bollocks. I'm not disrespecting you. Funny enough, in this video, I'm saying no disrespect because I actually like what you're doing, but the fake negotiation part is no need. There's no need to be fake. You can just be real. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm giving you props. No disrespect for your man because he's hustling very well and making great content with it. Now you come at me? In the beginning, you done real negotiations. Where's the time that you done real sh You're going into tracks to make a video about me? The three of you. What's wrong with you? One thing I do want to say is because you want this cloud because you want to sell your stupid groups. Your stupid groups to people that want to start making money with your stupid shit. I know it's all a sales game because it's not about watches anymore for you guys. It's not about selling watches anymore. It's about getting members on your stupid 
dealer group that doesn't work anyway. These WhatsApp group lads are for free everywhere. Why would you pay for that shit? That just blows my mind. Maybe he should get out from behind the YouTube camera and actually come and do a negotiation. Right. Bro, I was in New York last week in the district doing real deals. You guys were nowhere to be seen. And the funny bit is, I was speaking with a few of your colleagues and they were all sick of your fake negotiations bar the same people that you constantly see on the camera. Everyone else is sick of your shit. This fake bullshit is not real. This is not the real industry, son. He's a front artist, he's a stunt artist, he's a walrus, we already know that. But it's a shame. You guys are doing fantastic business. I guess that's I, why. I'd say you'd know a hell of a lot more about watches than he does. Trax, honestly, mate, I can't even be arsed replying to this anymore. I've given you every bit of clout you wanted. I literally live rent-free in your head, son. Stop being a f stalker. Back here in the UK, you can call the police for harassment. Suck my 